Welcome back, everybody. I'm Lauren Simonetti. Uh, we remember Superstorm Sandy one year ago today. Uh, we have the owner of a different type of business, Gary Raymond, with Comfort Care Senior Services. You didn't have any big damages. You lost power for 11 days. That's a long time, both in your home and in your business. But because you provide care for seniors, this is a this is a big deal, no power. And in fact, there were 147 deaths because of Sandy. You actually had one of them in your business. Yes, we did. Unfortunately, we yeah. experienced one of those with a, a veteran, actually. Uh-huh. Jeez. So what was it like, 11 days without power? How, how did you provide service to the seniors? Well, fortunately, we have a disaster plan that our franchisor uh, prepared us for, which... Uh, so, in, right before Sandy, or just because that's basic... That's basic best knowledge. practices. Okay. And uh, consequently, we, we had printed out all of our mm -hmm. client records and contact records and, and so forth that we needed to be able to keep in touch with people. However, with the power being out, <laughs> it became very difficult. So what did you do? Well, first thing we did is uh, attempting to move away from our home. We were we realized that we were only able to get about two miles away mm -hmm. without running into roadblocks and trees and so forth, and and internet connections were out completely. Uh, we were able to to get a, a small internet connection and contact some of our clients and caregivers. However, uh, that that was very intermittent and uh, very difficult to keep good contact. What were some of the reactions that you were getting from the senior citizens and their families? Uh, despair. Uh, people who could not reach family members were reaching out uh, to us to, to give them information mm -hmm. uh, about uh, the status of, of their loved ones. Uh, so it, it became very frustrating uh, for us right. and our staff to uh, answer these calls and, 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 uh, and actually tell them that we didn't know at that time. Yeah. There were 8.6 million people without power from Sandy. You were one of them. When it's day number 12, the lights are back on, the phones are working. What was that day like? That day uh, was chaotic a bit. We uh, we had uh, we were able to reach during uh, Sandy at least 50 percent of our of our client base and caregiver okay. base. Uh, so we we had good information. And how many clients do you have? Uh, at that time, we had 75. Okay. Uh, and. We were, because we were able to keep in contact with them, we felt good about that 50% mm -hmm. um, that they were safe, that they had power, or they were in a safe place. How many of them did and did not have power? Uh, the majority of them did not have power. Right. Uh, some came back after five days. Uh, many came back after seven days. Some didn't come back for 15 days. Um, and their status 15 days later? Well, they were either able to move in with a, a loved one close by, right. but many of our families uh, live close by, out of had state. No power. And okay, and many didn't have something convenient right. where they could turn. So some people, um, some people moved out of state to mm -hmm. be with their loved ones. They, right. they were able to get, once they get transportation, they could get there. Uh, naturally, our caregivers went with them. Mm -hmm. to care for them. And, How and, many and caregivers place. do you employ? Uh, from time to time, we'll employ about 85 to 100 um, wow. and from payroll to payroll. So more than your client base? More than our client base. Um, the, the shifts are, uh, are staggered sometimes, so for one client we may provide three different shifts. Okay. Um, I, how did, I hate to ask you how did you feel when it happened, but you're personally having issue, your family doesn't have what they need, and you're family through your business doesn't have what they need. What, 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 we, what kept you alive? Well, our, our mission really is to provide safe, reliable care uh -huh. um, and to uh, keep in touch with a loved one. Right. So once we were able to get to a, a hotel, uh -huh. we were able to set up a makeshift office. And this was five days in? This was three days three in. Three days in. Three Good. days in. And uh, even though the hotel did not have internet service, their internet was down. By means of uh, a sky pack, we were able to uh, mm -hmm. create a Wi-Fi zone and, and keep in contact. So did our staff. Our and, staff was able to... And but, final question, how would you rate the assistance that you did get and the response of the community? Um, the assistance from the local community was great mm -hmm. at the time. Uh, police did assist our caregivers to get to where they needed to go. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we were able to help uh, many of our clients remain safe, as Thank was our you mission. Thank you for that. And thank, thank you, you for joining us. Thank you very much. On the for anniversary, me. Gary Raymond, Comfort Care Senior Services, uh, the franchise owner. Okay. Good to meet you. Thank you. Thanks again.